Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Sumiyoshi. I'm a member of the Pirates of Tokyo Bay, Japan's only bilingual improv comedy group. Thank you, thank you very much. And because I love improv so much, I'm gonna improvise my whole TED Talk. So can I get um, two volunteers to help me up here on stage? If you wanna raise your hand. Um, wow, good. okay, the really enthusiastic guy in your class. And, uh, Guy in your suit, please, can you come up, jump up to the stage? <laughs> Hi, what's your name, sir? Hi, my name's Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi. Sir. Hi, Mike, what's your name? My name's David. Hi, David, great to have you up here. Yes. You're so enthusiastic, ready with your microphone. So that bit was staged, but what's gonna happen now is really improvised. They're gonna have a talk about how you won't die on stage doing bilingual comedy through your favorite movie genres. So if you wanna shout out some movie genres that you like, Underwater action film. <laughs> okay, horror. Romantic comedy. Horror. horror. Yeah. Musical. Musical. Martial arts. arts. Oh, I heard Russian arts. Samurai. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna repeat that. Commercialized. I, okay, I think I heard a lot. So, you guys ready to rock and roll? Sure. Yes. Okay, let's take it. Here I go. Do you want to go out tonight, honey? Christine, I've had a really long week. All I want to do is drink my beer, watch the game, and pass out with you. Come on, we did that last week. Let's go out, let's do something fun. Fine, fine. Let's, uh, let's go out to the bar and watch the game. See, I'm listening to your needs. I'm addressing your communication concerns. Right, you're doing a great job. Uh, honey, <laughs> I don't think you're listening to me. Uh, I want to go out. I want to have a fun night in town. We could go see that bilingual comedy group your friend told us about. Horror! Bilingual comedy, what, what, what's that? <laughs> you know, it's for people in the audience, they go to enjoy comedy from two different languages, English and another one. But don't you need a really high level of fluency for that? Don't, like, don't worry about it. Not everyone has both languages perfectly. But if I don't understand what they're saying, I might not laugh. I might see someone die on stage. <laughs> What are you trying to say? Romance. I think you're missing the point. <laughs> Comedy is about communication, right? Whatever you say. Right? And communication has four basic elements, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Let me break it down for you, okay? First, you got the characters and their relationship. You have the people in the conversation and the the dynamic, the, the heat between them. Precisely. Musical. Precisely. But I still don't understand. There must be something more. There always is something more. Underwater action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then you have the objective. <laughs> or what is trying to be accomplished. But what <laughs> does that have to do with improv comedy? It has to do with improv comedy because in every show, there are two, three, or four performers. Samurai! Then, next, you have the location or the where. I'm not all of this. Hi. Dozo. So, if I go to see a comedy show, what, what does that mean for me? How do I know that they won't die on stage? You won't die on stage because every show always has a crow. The host gets the suggestions from the audience and they set up the characters uh, from the audience suggestions and they use those suggestions for the objective. So no matter what language, English or another language, you always know what's going on and you can enjoy the show. You are so wise. Take it back to the original scene. Christine, that was a heck of an explanation. Right, next time I'll write it down for ya. Yeah, more right and less talk and let's just go. Okay. Thank you so much. That was our point, exactly. I mean, everyone says that bilingual comedy can't be done and shouldn't be done. Like, if you take a look at Google, you get 830 million hits for comedy, only 88 million for laughs, so there's a lot of bad jokes out there. <laughs> you get about 24 million for improv comedy. Bilingual is less than 600,000. That's a seventh of 1%. Klingon comedy gets 10 times more hits. That's not even a language. 
So not doing bilingual comedy or improv because you might die on stage doesn't make any sense because the whole point of comedy is to take the audience to a new place, a place maybe they didn't know that it even existed. Yeah, and to do that, um, you need to listen to the audience and connect with them. And using Crow does just that. It guarantees that even if you're performing in a foreign language to a multilingual audience of varying fluencies, you won't die on stage. Thank you very much. Thank you.